So today I'm going to show you how I turned a remote control car into a remote control boat. As you can see here. And then some crazy intro. Control mini start. It's too small. I need like a bigger one, like this one here. Twenty bucks. We got the car here. Um, and chuck batteries in it. Give it a test, and then work out how exactly I'm going to be turning it into a boat. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah, don't buy this, don't, do not buy this. I've taken that off, and initially I had a thought I could use this as the actual boat itself, like at least the base, and I could build up the walls a bit. So I'm going to test that in the sink. This thing probably weighs about 500 grams. Uh, this isn't watertight yet. <laughs> well, it shows promise. That shows some, some good promise there. But uh, anyway, as for the plan on this thing, so if you look back here, those are the motors. So I'm going to essentially just open it all up, have a look at it. If I can then twist those motors, replace it with some uh, repellers. Propellers, not repellers. I don't know what a repeller is. And then... I know, I'm kind of eyeballing this thing. I'll tell you what, I don't even need to rotate them. What I'm going to do is I'll draw a diagram. You understand? <laughs> like that. So they're kind of like propellers. So as these wheels spin that way, um, your propellers are kind of, you know, kicking the water like that. You know what I mean? As if you were doing like, like swimming, you know, pushing forwards, each propeller spins around and gives it forward momentum. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if I properly explained the use of the fishing line. Basically, I don't want to get this thing stuck in there, especially because I was stupid and didn't think of this before, but the steering, I could have absolutely designed a rudder to, to be able to steer this thing, but 
Uh, I hot glued that all together, so now it doesn't move, unfortunately. But anyway, the, the role of the fishing line uh, is, yeah, once I'll tie, I'll tie the fishing line to this, so then if it gets stuck out in the lake, um, I can just simply pull it back, pull it back to safety. So yeah, that's why I've got this. So uh, let's go test it. This thing floats essentially, because <laughs> we did the small scale test with the milk bottle, but these are with, this is a similar, ish but different design oh please oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's gonna sink oh i need back support i take two bottle on the top so once it does that that'll stay under like the pearls will stay under the water and that'll stop it from like flipping which it almost did place it steady okay rolling yeah. action This is so slow, man. <laughs> That's it, man. That is it. That's all the power it's got. Dude, it works. <laughs> it totally works.